My earliest memories of comedy is um, Eddie Murphy. Yeah, Raw. My brother turned me on to him. I remember him coming in and saying, this nigga in a leather suit is funny. When I was younger, my brother, he found a tape that was marked raw, and he figured that that was porn, but it turned out to be an Eddie Murphy stand-up special. I remember going to school and repeating what I had seen in raw to my friend, and she knew it, blew my mind that somebody else knew what I was talking about. We just started repeating the jokes all the time. Up until that point, what I'd seen of Eddie Murphy might have been in like The Nutty Professor or something, just like a wholesome, good looking guy. But here you have this man who's like this like raw, aggressive, manly like sexuality and like confidence just walking up and down saying the dirtiest things I could imagine. And also his African accent wasn't bad. So I was like good with it, it was really fun. Me and my boy Larry stumbled on, I can remember this, stumbled on a Delirious tape. It's so crazy too, when you, you know, you seen Def Jam, you seen all this stuff, but when we saw Delirious, this dude was doing characters, he telling stories, he acting stuff out, man. He's only like 21. So when I discovered that he was able to do his stand up like how he acts, I just thought it was brilliant. The goat of all goats is Eddie Murphy. Total the most um, talented man I ever met in my life. He was the golden child. No disrespect to it, but there's nobody else has been on Saturday Night of our pigmentation even come close to Eddie. Then you take his movies career, trading places, 48 hours, to play five, six characters at one different time with the clumps. He's the GOAT. Mm -hmm.